Hi friends, welcome back to a Frosty Eye Candy Quickie. We have a little six inch square uh, cradle here. I've put down about roughly around about 100 mil, three to four ounces of black pillow paint. The pillow paint is color to go. Uh, I hope you don't mind Jody, the painted dreamer. I thought your idea of taking photographs and telling people quickly and easily what you're doing and how you're doing it in regards to the pouring medium and then the cell activator and the pillow. So I got my hands on some Joe Sonia, so I hurriedly rushed home, mixed it up with the Bear 8300 and here we go with a little test. So I mixed up four colours, four ones that I know go together really nicely. So that's the Perlex Solar Gold. I'm almost out of the TLP, this little piggy ore. I need to order some. You can see quite a few little bubbles there. I've only just mixed these paints. I haven't let them sit overnight. So I am gonna pop these little bubbles. We don't want them. Well, they look, they look like happy little bubbles. But we don't want them they're not going to make a happy painting for us okay so that is the ore now i'm laying down the liquitex fluorescent blue now the crafters acrylic deco art sun fuchsia Last, the Liquitex Prism Violet. Beautiful contrast to these colours. Trying a new camera angle for this little quickie. Let me know what you think in the comments if you like it or you prefer the overhead version. I just made this cell activator. You've got to give it a good stir. As you figured out by the pick at the beginning, the activator is four to one flow troll, Australian flow troll with Amsterdam paint. So I'm going to put a little blob of the white down first. Well, I'm just going to move this over. Right. That's good for the white. Now let's do the Prussian blue. And now let's give it a blow out. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna blow out the edges while we wait for the pillow paint to come back underneath the colors. Excellent. And as we've done in previous videos, we're just going to make sure it all moves as one. Just help the pillow paint over the edges a little bit. Okay, excellent. Now we're gonna get a spin. Okay, excellent. It's slightly off center and I quite like it. 
Excellent. Okay, so that's the uh, clockwise, and let's do the counterclockwise. Not too bad, hey guys. So I'm just gonna see if there's much movement to it. A little tiny bit, so I'm just gonna give it a couple more spins. Just got my finger on the edge of the board here, catching any excess drips. And slowing the piece down. Now let's just give it the last counterclockwise spin. Excellent. And there we have a frost eye, frosty eye candy pretty. I love the way the gold shimmers and gives the piece real depth. Well, wow, excellent. Let us know what you thought about the new camera angle, guys. Let us know what you thought about the piece I've just made. Uh, please like and subscribe. Also, share my videos would be rather fantastic. And, as always, happy pouring. Hey, friends. So I'm going to try and hold the camera steady and give you a good close-up. All while at the same time holding the phone and making sure it's staying focused. So here we go, here's the bottom. Moving up, we have the top there. I love the way the gold is shimmering here, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we have so many cells and lacing. And I think the favorite thing has got to be, for me, these happy little rainbows. Happy little rainbows around the edges of the bloom absolutely gorgeous okay my friends thank you so much for joining me for another frosty eye candy and as always happy pouring